My name is Michael Stephen Clark. Where we're at. Hey everybody, I'm Mike Hucker. We're here at ODI and I'm going to show you how to do a bar ride step by step. The point of the trick is to have fun. It's one of the funnest tricks I do. You can do it anywhere. You don't need a skate park. You don't need dirt jumps. You just need a flat area. And you can do it anywhere. And I remember being a little kid, seeing it on TV and just being blown away. Like, wow, that's so cool. And it just, it puts smiles on faces and why wouldn't you want to do it? I'd seen it a couple times in my life and always thought it was a crazy trick, but never thought I would ever do it. And then I was at my friend's house one day watching a biking video and a guy did a hippie hop. And just something in my head was like, wow, that'd be so cool to do a hippie hop, but land on the handlebars. And that's the whole reason I've even ever thought to learn it. And um, yeah, later that day, I just went into my front yard and started trying it. A lot of trial and error and uh, finally figured it out after a little bit of time. It's a really scary trick to do, but it's very simple and not that difficult to do. Worst case scenario, you know, you're falling from about waist high. Fall from higher grinding a rail. So what I do, I hold my grips at the very end. And the whole goal is to land on the grips. You don't want to land right here with your feet. If you land with your feet narrow, it tips a lot more easily. You can even get away with it right here. But um, like I said, the, the more narrow, or yeah, the more narrow your feet are, the more it tips. The wider you are, the more balance you have. But yeah, the biggest key is just hold your grips really wide. I take a really deep breath and I completely exhale. I, for one, am not flexible. I can't even touch my toes on a good day. So the more air I have in my lungs, the less flexible I am. So I exhale, that way I can go down a little bit lower. And then right when I exhale, that's when I know to jump. So I just take like a couple half cranks, get going for when I'm teaching kids it. And I always find a spot on the ground and have that as a reference point. Okay, when I get, to that spot, I'm gonna jump to the bars right there every time. Because I found when I was learning it and when I'm trying to teach people, if they don't have that spot, they hesitate a lot. So when you have a spot on the ground, you know that's the go-to time. That's the go-to time you jump up every time. Yeah, the, the hardest part about a bar ride is just getting over the fear of actually doing it. Once you start doing it, once you finally commit to standing straight up, you get the balance point. The second you get the balance point, you realize it's possible to just go. Whenever anybody's trying to bar ride for the first time, they're gonna be jumping over the bars a lot, and 95% of the time you land on your feet like nothing ever happened. And uh, the biggest key is just telling yourself to relax once you get there and just stand straight up. And you just have to tell yourself that repetition, tell yourself that because it's so easy to just jump forward and uncommit. And that jump, or that trick's just full commitment. The main thing about the balance is when you get on, to stand straight up. That's the main thing. If you go forward, you're gonna jump off. If you go backwards, the bike's gonna shoot out and you're gonna land on your feet most of the time. Um, but yeah, you just relax. You put your hands out for balance and just let it rip. Getting back, what I do, I do the same way I get up, just in reverse. I squat down, grab the bars, and then jump back to pedals. I've never jumped straight back to pedals and bars at the same time. It's a bit scary. Maybe one day I'll conquer that fear. But um, yeah, just squat back down. Once you're completely balanced and comfortable, squat down, grab the bars, and go back to pedals. It took me years before I ever actually went back to pedals. I used to always just jump off. But to do it legit, you gotta go back to pedals. I don't do it legit every time, or even most of the time. <laughs> One thing I do do most of the time when I do bar rides, I've had my foot stuck in my brake cable going over the bars. You can fall from that and it'll also destroy your brake cable. So I just do one quick bar spin, wind it up. That way there's way less area to get caught up. Um, again, if you're brakeless or you have a gyro, you don't really have to worry about that. Yeah, when I first tried it, I didn't have any advice, no pointers. I was just kind of jumping up there and seeing it, if it was possible for me. And um, the first day, I think the longest one I went was like 10 feet. Next day, a little bit longer. 
And usually when I teach somebody in person, I can get them to go about five to 10 feet, pretty much on the first like 15 to 20 minutes, if they're fully committed. Yeah, I personally recommend the ODI Hucker Grips. They're um, a nice soft compound. They grip around the sole of the shoes very well. And um, yeah, I mean, any grips work, but this is what I prefer. Don't forget to have fun, put a smile on, and just don't think about it, just do it.